And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time we got most of the troubles done. But uh, of course now we have to go through the trouble of going to like every town and counting chairs. Nintendo, why you do this? This is not intelligent design. Intelligent systems, if that is your real name. <laughs> okay, so first we go to Poshley Heights. Let us confirm that your name is Tools. It is. Okay. So there's one. Oh, so one, two, three, four. The, the guy uh, did, the businessman did specifically state we count this chair too. So there are five. Five. So next we're going to Boggy Woods. Paper Mario World Tour. Okay. OBS, you are kind of garbage lately. I don't understand it. Anyway, right Croup's house. I use Goombella to confirm that this is actually Croup. I was pretty sure it was. And there are two chairs here. I've written down the number two. Let's go to Bobby Woods. Okay, so now we gotta go to Flurry's house. Actually, I'm wondering if this would be like an early enough place that uh, I would be able to just use the first, excuse me, use the first attack badge. Dang. Yes, indeed. You don't get any prizes out of that, but that's fine. Okay, all right, Madame Flurry's house. There are three chairs here. Because you can sit on this. Oh, 
four, five. Oh. Super appeal partner. Get more star power when your ally appeals. Six. The bed's not a chair, is it? Anyway, uh, looks like the answer here is six. So now we just need to get into Don Pianta's office. Limitations of a long play. Uh, how do you mean, Jacob? Yeah, pro probably that. Probably yeah. That's uh, it. Need like if you're if you're referring to what uh, what is something that would be appropriate uh, to be requested for a long run. Um, basically, it needs to be a game that. Sort of at least, uh, at least kind of uh, goes along with the style of games that I play. Uh, it needs to be at least three streams long, and uh, it shouldn't be like overly long either. Like right now, with my doing, uh, for instance, Xenoblade Chronicles Three on Saturday, that's. That's actually probably too long for the Tuesday stream, to be honest. There are two. There are two chairs here. So. If I have this correct, I'm going to try two things. I'm going to try um, 2625 and 2725. Yeah, uh, it's a, a session is about four hours. It's probably amounts to a little bit closer to like th between three and a half and four, just with uh, like intermission and all that. But uh, let's let's say about fifteen. I don't know. Uh, it's it's something that I kind of have to evaluate too. Like, I get. I guess I don't have a hard limit. I just don't want it to be something that's going to take me like a year to finish.
All right, buddy. Sure thing, chair guy. There are two two chairs in um, Mayor Proof's house. There are more than that. There are six chairs. There are two chairs in Don Pianta's office. And including the garden chair, there are five chairs at two of the cells. Thank goodness. Uh, I didn't say 15 hours. I said like more or less 10 or 15 stream like I, I would have to I would have to kind of evaluate there there's no hard limit just send one I can accept it Fat dog. Okay. The tongue blistering fat dog. Hmm. You do that. Oh, we got some hot sauce. So I guess if I want some more, I would have to like. Oh, maybe it doesn't cost anything. Oh. Anyway, I think that was the last trouble, so uh, I will check the trouble center just to be sure. But I'm pretty sure that was the last trouble, so we can just head over to the fastener door and Mario can find out where the seventh and final crystal star is located. But my, my question is like, why would you have, why would you have a password that is so like, situationally specific? What if, what if Madame Fleury redecorates and she gets, like, she, she gets rid of a couple of chairs and what if uh, Mayor Croup moves to a new house and has four chairs now? Like... Then your password is lost, dude. That is all of the troubles. Also, uh, to note, if you are going to request a long run, the long run is going to be after the next one I have planned. So you are going to be waiting a little bit. Because unless my queue gets excessively long, I do want to do like one game from the queue, then one game of my own, and kind of alternate like that. If the queue starts getting like particularly long, like three or four, well, considering that it's, you know, long run is going to be is going to take a longer time, so a long queue would be like three or four. And at that point, I would have to whittle that down a little faster. Uh, let's see who we're going to have for dialogue for this. Bobbery.
Let us reveal the mystery. Where is the location of the seventh and final crystal star? If I knew someone used my chairs as part of their password, I would be annoyed enough to redecorate out of spite. I don't blame you, Tyrion. We've searched all over this land. So clearly, this time, we need to look to the sky. Oh my god, there was a moon on the moon! <laughs> Eh? What's this, Malvadash? Tell me, oh boy. Does that say the crystal star, the last crystal star is... No, seems awfully unlikely. Hmm. If what this map indicates is true, the location of the final crystal star is... The moon. The moon? Great, great gobbledy! Princess Peach is there as well! This seems a bit off. Hmm. The problem here is, how does one get to the moon? Quite a conundrum. Give me a moment to look into this. Excuse me, please. It shouldn't take long. into this may take a little bit of time, so come back in a bit, all right? Really? In other words, I should have done the troubles while you were looking that up. It's later now. I don't know. Uh, I guess we can look into this email while we're waiting. Ah, the, the real zip toad. Excuse me, a no name like you? Who the hell are you? On Golden Toad 2. Alright. You're a cool baby, but I'm... This guy! This guy is kind of... I want to punch him in the face. I use a photo of the imposter since it was on the train. Yeah. So I'm hoping that is just a matter of unloading and reloading. No, this won't work either. What's left? Ah, yes, of course, that one book. It looks like this will take a while long. Please come back if you could. Actually, that's not a bad idea, Drew. I'll uh, give this one more try. Come on. I think I'll have an answer in mere moments. You can wait outside until then. The messages don't pop up in the thing. Uh, is it doing that thing again? I 
area. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. That's enough. There. It's later now. Is it later enough? Yes, it is. Ah, excellent time! I finally have it, Mario. I found a way that might just get you to the moon. You must go to Far Outpost, and you must use the cannon there, and it will blast you. So we to use a cannon to reach, the, to reach the moon, are we? Sounds capital! I know how it sounds, really. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure of all the details. Accounts from Far Outpost speak of a, de a speak of device that can launch anything anywhere, even to the moon. I must say, this Far Outpost already sounds like it would be a bother to reach. I believe there's a pipe to Far Outpost somewhere beneath your port, but I'm not sure of the exact location. Yes, I believe it was hidden for some reason. If my information is correct, uh, correct you need something called an Ultra Hammer to get it. An Ultra Hammer? Dear man, we've already procured one of those. Ah, well, I see. That certainly ch say, uh, changes the subject now, doesn't it? Well, use that Ultra Hammer to find the pipe to Far Outpost, then. Get to it. Hmm, yes, I see. Quite so. Destination Far Outpost. Oh, yes, one more thing you should be aware of. The bob who live there are sort of a surly bunch. They may not let you use their cannon. You may have to negotiate with them. In any case, that's your problem. Good luck! Get that last crystal star. Also, nothing in the wastebasket. We have not missed any missable uh, tablets. To use all my And actually, we were at Far Outpost earlier. The pipe to that is just over here. And this time, when we go into the pipe, we will kick off Chapter 7 Mario Shoots the Moon. There would have been dialogue there, but um, we've already seen it. Alright, so hopefully we don't get absolutely demolished this time. And I'm going to switch to Vivian. She can set people on fire. Ow. I'm gonna get hit by the other one too. 
Um, not sure what the stylish for that is. Vivian. Oh, that's expensive. gets every one but that one on the back and the one on the back is going to uh, completely whiff and then get burnt. A big 20 star points will take us to our next level. So what is it that we're going to level up? Uh, we have 30 HP, we have 25 FP and that will go up to 30. And we have 30 BP that will go up to 33. Let's hear the votes in chat. Jewel says BP. I think I've heard enough. At this point, the rest of our stats are pretty good, honestly. Oh, Star Piece right there, cool. Oh, enemy right there, less cool. But yeah, we're, we're pretty good on like everything else. Um, so really, uh, stocking up on BP and being able to equip all the badges that we need would be generally the best idea. Also, we're not getting absolutely annihilated this time, so that's good. Um, let us check our badges. Um, sort type. Hope you all eyes attack. Why would I want to use that? And just use Happy Eye instead. Well, let's go a little defensive for this one. The right village. Why do you think they keep that can of theirs? Huh? Well, only one way to find out. Let's get let's get started by talking to the villagers. And uh yeah, we've already we've already talked to most of these guys. What are you guys doing here? Okay. It's too cold. Y'all are weird. And you're here too. Oh wait, thank you, Juan. Hmm. I'll get rid of one of my thunder just Ah, Monsieur Lestache! I have tried too many times to talk to the girl in the inn and she kicked me out. So I must, uh, I must use the eat of my feelings for her and melt the snow. Da, what business do you have? Da, 
What? A cannon? No such thing is here. What? But we heard there was definitely a cannon. What do you want me to say? We do not have one. I somehow don't believe you. Don't you? Uh, what about this big old cannon right here? Is that literally just a monument? A monument to the actual cannon you have hidden somewhere here? Hey, Star Piece. Cannon, that's clearly a telescope. Alright, I forgot to get a life shroom. I'm sure I'm not gonna pay for that at all in the near future. Snow Bob. Um, well, what if I talk? What if I use Bobbery? What? Did I not tell you we have no city cannon? Now listen here, you're the mayor, hmm? How can an official like you li uh, lie that way? Old boy, I know I saw a cannon the last time I was here, so do not lie, sir. Shush, you call yourself a bomb -bom. I spit at you. You know who is. There is, uh, there is to be no mention of cannon to non bomb -bombs. No mention. You must not allow it to be used for evil. Of course I know all that, you great blowhard. But we must use that cannon to get to the moon, old boy. And if we don't, sir, the world could end. Hmm. Ah. Uh, world could end. Ah, uh, well, we cannot have that now. Still, you cannot use cannon right now because of certain circumstances. Circumstances? We must have permission of Goldbob to use Khan. He is the one who started the whole blasting things to far away places policy. Once he got rich, he built, he let business slide and does not start it up. Also, General White was the one who devoted himself to operation of Khan. But he was so depressed by losing of job that he took the Khan key and left. Goldbob and General White? Da, that is correct. If you want to use Ganon, you must find Gold Bob and General White. Very well, then. We can't give up. On, we can't give up now, old boy. Mario, let's go find those two. But once you find them, come back and talk to me. Oh boy. The world tour continues. Hate dealing with piranha plants. you do things. Oh, that was beautiful. Did y'all see that? That was amazing. Kind of non- <laughs> what kind of the non-evil hands kind did you do that involved both making a business out of it and not in it not being known by non bobble Ow. 
Ow. Six more star points. I somehow managed to juke the piranha plant only to get juked by uh by the cloud dudes, the ice puffs. Ah, uh, missed that last thing first. And I missed that as well too. Okay, I'm getting good at this. But you're going I know I've been kind of accidentally alluding to it for a little while now. But we already know where General White is. Um, also, this is... No, that is where I want to go. So General White is in Peddler. First we Peddler. Or is he not? Okay, that's uh, a little meta. I was pretty sure. Okay, well, first of all, I'm gonna rest up because, uh, Just gotta pay the coins. Really? 
And uh, actually, do you have anything to say? Okay, where is General White? At the very least, I know where Gold Bob is. I'm officially asking you out there, chat. I honestly don't remember where to look for General White. Good day to you, Bebas. What can I do for you today? What's that you say? You must use the cannon and fire outposts to save the world? Hmm. Well, that is a rather a pickle, isn't it? Very well then. I suppose I owe you a favor or two. Hmm? Yes, I should say. The truth is, I had hoped to resume my business with that cannon someday. And just between us, I only stopped because the wife said she didn't like the noise. Sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get the cannon working, so... I'll need you to demonstrate just how much you want to use that can. If it were a matter of money, uh, just how much would you pay if I asked? Uh, we're trying to save the world. Money is not that important. What? You pay every coin you own? All of them? You... Uh, really? So, really? Yeah, take it all. <laughs> Well, I suppose I'm just surprised to hear you say that. It's tiring, actually. You know, that means you'll be left with zero coins, with absolutely nothing. You know that, do you? Yep. I mean, think of it, man. If you spent all your coins, I mean all of them, you'd certainly face a great deal of difficulty down the road. Yep. Hold on, I want to make sure you're uh, doing this fully aware of the consequences. Are you sure you won't regret this later? Absolutely sure. Yep. And take them all. You won't say just kidding later with any sort of tomfoolery like that? Well, alright then. You've certainly shown me something, sir. So I give you permission. Uh, I give my permission to you uh, for you to activate the Far Outpost Cat. Oh, and I wasn't serious earlier, my dear fellow. How could I take your money? <laughs> a shame, I suppose. But I'll return your money. That's all draw, my boy. Not an email. And yeah, that's uh, that's one thing I actually remembered from this game is you can tell him take all my coins and you'll just give them back anyway. RDM, okay. Unknown businessman was taken into custody. Tried to carrying a, a large amounts of a volatile red liquid. Also, the, this guy just seriously, like the businessman, seriously does not have a name. Empire new hot sauce, folks. Here's here's something. I I, I know how to make. A hot sauce enthusiast's eyes water with just three words. Twelve million Scoville. Obviously, <laughs> the luxurious shop on the XS Express the sales stall. Traditional double point sale. Finally made it to the big leagues. They were making ink pasta. 
Oil fresh pasta, perfect deal of dente, mix lightly with inky sauce. And they're already giving up on this series. The next issue will be our last. I feel like they didn't have to like close it out. So guys, uh, General White, with, with, with the thing about the chairs is like we knew where to go and what to look for. This time we, we definitely know who to look for, but I honestly don't remember where to go. Actually, come to think of it, there's one... Once I get done with this magic oopa, there is one place that uh, I just thought of checking. Also, I think it was Tyrion who mentioned uh, about it's weird to see the, the words B list, a B list star next to Mario. Well, we're one level away from changing that. Anyway, if my guess is correct, I think where we might want to go is Keel Hall Key. If it's if he's not here, then I honestly don't know where he is, and I'm going to have to just see him there. <laughs> well, if he's in Kiel Hockey, it's not anywhere obvious. in general white. Also I think my uh, my inventory is kind of full so I'm gonna go ahead and store some things. And store one of these. And store that. I think that's all I need to read the story. Um, so does anyone know where Kiel Hall Key is located? What did I just say? Does anyone know where General White is located? Kiel Hall Key is right friggin' where I am. Oh, uh, Tyrion, you said you think you remember. Yeah, I was in the Koopa village and he wasn't there. And I asked around and nobody seems to know anything. Unless I had to talk to Gold Bob first. That's not impossible. See, I'm pretty sure that he would have been right here, but he is not. Now when you say the outpost, do you mean far outpost? 
because I don't know if that's correct, but I can check. It's one of those quests where characters don't appear until you know to look for them. Excellent. And we get 600 coins! Which is actually literally too much. If one of y'all can check where General White is, that'd be quite appreciated. Let's go to Kia Hall, someone will tell where he went. See that's that's kind of what I thought. I guess I just didn't talk to everyone. Someone needs Okay, who's someone? Someone in Pedalberg? Oh, come on. Alright, let's make sure to ask literally everyone in Pedalberg. A nearby Koopa doesn't help a lot, man, not really. It is an annoying sequence. I mean, we're gonna have to do the entire sequence. And, uh... I 
I would say don't worry about it. We'll, uh... Look at that, we, we, we're gonna have to do the entire sequence no matter- There we go, this is the guy we have to talk to. Huh, what's that, General White? My name was here a while ago, but he was- He said he was taking a trip, then he left. Wait, hang on a sec. He did say something about a deserted isle to the south. He was either going there or not going there. Oops. Thanks. Hopefully they're not going to be, like, dumb like that every time. That narrows it down to not narrowing it down at all. Like, that could also mean he's still in town somewhere. General White? Yeah, he was here until a second ago. But then he took off right quick. Said he was going to an arena or something. Can the game not send me to Blitzville every five minutes? Literally ev literally anywhere else game. Just not Blitzville. Probably not going to even reach the uh, the moon base today, or like just barely. Exciting action, action, action. <laughs> to have to deny that because I don't think we have the time. Um, if you if you want to um, redeem It's the Pits, make sure to do it when it's not the last hour of the stream. At least you get your points back. I'm not making a comeback. Turn it white? Oh, he must mean that white bomb bomb. Oh, 
Yeah, he used to come here all the time, but I haven't seen him lately. Now that I think about it, I think he said he was headed off to some huge tree. Or not. Thanks. Yeah, if we get if we were to get started on the pit of a hundred trials, we would be on it for the rest of the stream and into the next run. <laughs> This reminds me of the um, of the original ZZT worlds that were created by T by Tim Sweeney himself, and some of some of them just straight up like lampshade the fact that this is poor design to the players. Like, isn't this just terrible and things like that? No, oh, that little cute. He's always, always so darn squishy washy. Cheater. Okay, calm down. Do you know why? Yeah, he's a he's an old bob on with this great mustache. And I have no idea where he went. Nip said he was going somewhere dark. Alright, Twilight Town it is. Actually, Twilight Town, I think, is where I can buy life shrooms. So it's actually a really good thing that I'm going there. take the pipe back up so we can take the grate back down so that we can actually reach the pipe to Twilight Down. Twilight down. Take the grate back up, uh, take the pipe back up, take the grate back down, and take the warp pipe to Twilight Town. Okay, well, that didn't work out so well. It doesn't help that some of these, uh, some of these flutter, some of these flutters are like real tight. Thank you. 
maybe the mirror would know something, but I guess not. Huh? General White? Yeah, I know that old guy. It's a white bob -omb, right? He was here till recently. What? Where'd he go? What am I, his secretary? He looked tired, I know that. But he's not in here. He looked tired. What does that mean? <laughs> ah, life shrooms, nectar of the gods. Okay, so we've been to Paddleburg, we've been to um, Keel Hall Key, we've been to Glitzville, we've been to Twilight Town, we've been to the Boggly Tree. So, by my count, the two places that we haven't checked are Poshley Heights, which I doubt is going to be the right answer because that's where Gold Bob was, and Rogue Boy. And Far Outpost, but I strongly doubt that Far Outpost is the correct answer either. So, General White is not in the inn here. So does that mean he is at Poshley Heights? Yeah, you know what, Tyrion, let me know. Because <laughs> that one was way too vague. Yeah, he is at Far Outpost. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why they got the idea of just having a message that is that vague. It's like, oh, he looked tired. Okay. And what does that tell me? Where would I go if I looked tired? Probably home. Is there is there anywhere that said that uh, Far Outpost is General White's home? <sighs> Freaking 
Oh, it's the configuration with four. Three of them, and the last one dies. Well, the fact that we did get an email kind of uh, kind of tells me that we're probably going the right way. You! It's too bad that Zero isn't here. Actually, if J-Pop has that uh, that emote. A new and improved rock on. Dude, you, you don't need to maintain kayfabe when you're emailing me. Find General right? Mustache Gentleman, where has he gone to? Hmm. Now, well, did he go? This makes trouble for us. We definitely need him. Otherwise, we cannot operate. We, can, we cannot even operate that. So, what do we do? Hilarious! He seems to be asleep. Wake him up. Yes. Still asleep. Try again. Still sound asleep. Try again. Definitely still asleep. Try again. Still sawing logs. Try again. Gonna be more asleep. Try again. Scouting sheep. Try again. He won't. Ah, still sleep. Try again. Sleeping like a stash baby. Try again. It's not even budging. Try again. Still snoring away. Try again. Now who are you? I'm tired. I don't need your attention. I just want to sleep as it is all over this. Uh -huh. That mustache, that hat, and that hat are even. Hush, hush! I've been looking everywhere for you. Why? Well, to bring that cannon back online. I lost, I lost my life's work. My very reason to live. I found myself at wit's end. And then the Rogueport fortune teller told me, Seek the man with the red M hat, the one with the hammer and stash. You will fulfill your dreams, or something like that. What? You mean to use a cannon to help you save the entire world? Hip hip hurrah! That fortune teller was right! So what are we waiting for? I shall get the cannon ready, so go tell the mayor. Now get moving, hut hut! So Cannon is back online. But I could just explode with delight. Now let us shoot you guys too. 
He did it, Mario. Now you follow me. You come this way. You count sheep when you can't sleep. That was a good point, Terry. Preparations are complete. The cannons fire ready. Hush, let's do this. Now you stand here. General White, is Big Bomb Cannon ready? Hut, leave it to me. Now men, you know the drill. Load the Big Bomb Cannon. Now, position the drill. Bring Cannon System online. Bringing system online. System now online. System check. System check. All clear. Prepare for detonation sequence. Open out a hatch. Open inner shutter. Elevate! On my mark! It sure is a, um, a security system we have there. Also, that sure is a cannon, wow. Sighting! Target is the moon! Section 75.38, elevation 54.66, range 389603. Wind speed 1.8, correct direction 3.03, correct elevation minus 3 to 2.39. Target locked, chamber hatch open. Now, everyone in. Where did they all come from? Close chamber hatch. Stop pushing the boom. Ow, ow, ow. You're on my foot, but boom. Stay in here, boom. I'm getting nervous. Stop breathing on my neck. Conditions all green. Stand by. Okay. It is time. Big bomb cannon. Fire! That is a good point, Darian. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was so awesome. Good luck, now. Really, Tyrion? That's, uh, that's an alternate take. I guess there might be, like, different species of bob -ombs, and for some they can just explode over and over again, and then for others they explode once and that's it. Gee whiz, that was wild! Never thought I'd take a ride like that! And here's a pose that is never used again in the game. Well, we're really on the moon, all right. Are you ready, Mario? Let's find that last crystal star and save Peach. Oh, 
I'm good. Stopwatch. And then let's just make walking around here extremely slow. Are you kidding me? And also add a bunch of secrets so that if you want to move fast and also collect all of the secrets, which by the way there was no secret here at all, then you're just constantly switching between Bobbery and uh, your Yoshi. Unfortunately, I do have the um, the badge that makes it so that they can't um, preemptively attack me. That's a moon craft. It's your basic quest for become a moon. Mass HP is six. Attack is five, and defense is five. Defense is high as usual, and fire attacks don't work against it. You can turn it over with an explosion though as defense goes down to zero. Oh good. Well, is this gonna even work if they're tiny? Although yeah, this it is true that statuses don't uh, carry over between characters. Come on now. Three of you. And then the fog. Cool. Watch this feeling as you do. Yep. Oh yeah, this battle is going great. Decrease the zero damage I'm going to take.
Because I just have to know. Oh, we must be getting close because uh, we're starting to see some of these jerks. Well, it's another towel to get. Except, do I want to... I think I want to deal with the guy in the back first, maybe. And then I'm frozen. Okay. Thanks, game. Real appreciate it. I'm so glad there are three of you now. That's a mini Zedia, uh, me? Oh. Um, it's probably meant to be pronounced as mini Zyx. I'll pronounce it like that. That's a mini Zyx. It looks to protect the Zyx. That can be as many as four. Max HP is 2, attack is 0, and defense is 0. If you don't clear these guys out, you'll never be able to attack the ZX. Use a multiple strike attack to take them all out. Uh, using a multiple strike attack to take them all out is a totally good idea. I mean, I respect, their, I respect them for protecting their whatever, but they get no mercy. And I missed my time. Tower will be actual ZX. What's a ZX? It's a genetic improvement on the original ZX. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. Multiple mini ZX will appear to protect the main unit, as you'd expect. Sometimes they even restore HP to the main unit, which really burns me up. There's not much HP, but those barriers often protect it from attacks. There we go. 
Okay, so that's where the pipe is. I saw that Star Piece game. I'm taking care of you now. Are you serious? Are you entirely serious, Merle? This is the second time. Enough for level up? Alright. So what are we leveling up? What are we leveling up, guys? Actually, we're technically gonna be leveling up two things, but let's get to that in a second. So we got HP 30 35, FP 25 30, VP 33-36. I've already made my case earlier this stream, but I'll still leave it up to you. Jewel says HP. Tyrion says FP. I don't think I've seen anyone else actively in chat in a while. So that gives me the option, and I have to pick between HP and FP, so. And Mario became an A-list star. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage get even bigger. Um, well, I was going to go directly to the uh, x knot space. But let's do one more battle just to get a look at the new stage. And as you can probably guess, this one has a seating capacity of 150. Provided that none, none of them are uh, big pinks. Bond. Anyway, you can go around the entire moon and it'll just loop continuously. There's stuff to find. I'm not gonna worry about the stuff to find because, uh, look at how slow we're going. I don't think. We can go this way for a while? Is there a reason to want to go this way? 
Probably not. What a suspicious building. Mario, be careful, okay? But you should recognize this building, I mean. Who's that, dude? Whoa. That's Mario. Well, let's get him. I mean, I guess they wouldn't come in the regular way, yeah. But I mean, you, I, I imagine you still recognize the decoration style. And that's an elite x knot This guy is the creme de la creme of the x knots Max HP is 10, attack is 5, and defense is 1. He'll use regular attacks as well as boosting his power or size. Elite x are, are tough, but you just have to smack them away until, he until they go down. Um. I'm pretty sure we've seen her at the x not base. Like, early on in the game. And I'm pretty sure all three of them are there. I wasn't expecting that high jump. Yeah. Mario, darling, if these excellent buffoons are here. Yes, yeah, so the crystal star must be here as well. My peach must be here as well. Let's find her. Well, finding her is definitely what we're going to be doing. Finding her and finding the crystal star is why we are here. But that is going to have to wait until next time. Yes, yes, yes. Nintendo intelligences. Some of your intelligence systems are really not that intelligent intelligent systems, I'm just saying. So that is going to be our show for today, so thank you for watching, uh, thank you to uh, SimGuy, Tyrion, J-Pop, Jewel for hanging out, J-Pop for the sub. Uh, the next scheduled stream is going to be tomorrow at 4pm um, Atlantic Daylight Time, it is the Code Creator stream, we're going to do some programming. Um, 
I have some things to do for uh, bumper stickers. Uh, it's probably gonna happen on this computer, because I would rather not have to make sure everything is working for the new one and all that. Anyway, the next stream after that is gonna be on Saturday at 9 p.m. Uh, Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the extra long run stream. We're gonna do some more Xenoblade Chronicles 3. We finally made it to Sword March, and now we have some more things to do, particularly one hero quest. And also, uh, next we're going to be infiltrating Agnes Castle, so that should be fun. Following that is going to be the Sunday Super Shuffle, Sunday at 8pm or later Atlantic Daylight Time, and we're going to do some more Art Thugger shenanigans, maybe another test of bumper stickers, we'll see what happens. And that takes us round week, round wheel to our next um, long run stream, next Tuesday at 9pm Atlantic Daylight Time where we are going to infiltrate the x Knots Fortress in Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Also, I'm going to give you a little hint of what's coming up. It is going to be super vague, but it's what you get right now. It is a game that speaks for itself. It did before, and it still does now. Try to figure that one out. Um, so yeah, that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. I'm cool here if you don't know. And I'll see you guys next time.